uh, your first football game on Big Ten Network this year, September 3rd. It's coming up. Maryland hosting Buffalo. How do you see the Big Ten uh, football shaping up this year? Yeah, it's 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 a good question. Um, you know, I, I have Michigan also in in week two um, against Hawaii, and I was just recently looking at at Michigan and how they kind of stack up uh, against Ohio State. Um, you know, it's for the Big Ten this year. It's the first time, right? Like you're not having any like major head coaching changes. All 14 head coaches return. Um, I think some of the biggest storylines is, is some of these teams, uh, Michigan like included, um, have made some major changes with their offensive coordinators and defensive coordinators. So, you know, the first couple weeks, what, what we know Michigan football to be or, uh, you know, with Ohio State on the defensive side of the ball, that's where they made their D.C. changes. Um, you know, it's. It just it will be interesting to see you know the styles and the schemes of, of of some of these teams and and how things have evolved. You know I, I think it's the Big Ten uh, has has shown itself in terms of making the college football playoff as well. And um, you know with Ohio State and Michigan, I think being some of the favorites to once again possibly be in there as well. But I think there's just a lot of question marks. I think there'll be a lot of intrigue because of some of those coaching changes that I mentioned about, um, especially in the, in the first couple of weeks. And, and Ohio State gets out of the gates right and plays Notre Dame. So that's one on uh, September 3rd that I'm looking forward to kind of keeping an eye on. Lisa, very smart to go Michigan heavy on the Rich Eisen show. A lot of Michigan analysis. Go blue. I mean, listen, we, we both spend a lot of time. You're from Michigan, right? You're, you're from Western Michigan? I grew up in Kalamazoo, Michigan, yeah. Kazoo. and, and uh, my first two jobs were, as you mentioned, Alpena, Michigan, and, and Lansing, Michigan. So um, I am I am heavy on the state of Michigan. That that said, Lisa, you are a Northwestern Wildcat student athlete. The the whole deal. Are, are we going to make a bowl game uh, again this year? How's how's Coach Fitz going to do? Well, you know, he's got that weird uh, like win three games and then win the West Division, <laughs> lose you know <laughs> yeah. win three games. Kind of like pattern going. So uh, since they had uh, since they had lost three games last year, maybe the the West Division title in a bowl game is is in the horizon. But as you know, I mean, when they have uh, fallen off, um, as with a lot of teams, it's been quarterback issues, right? And uh, it, it's just kind of been a merry-go-round for them in that position. So I'd like to see them solidify that, and um, you know, fits. Could find some magic over there, so um, so I'm hoping that Northwestern and and the Big Ten can get as many teams in bowl games again this year. He was Fitz Magic before Fitz Magic, Pat Fitzgerald. What, what a legend there at Northwestern.